Man dies as strong earthquake topples building in Taiwan. At least one person has died after a strong earthquake shook much of Taiwan, toppling a three-story building and temporarily trapping four people inside, leaving about 400 tourists stranded on a mountain and derailing parts of train. The 6.9 magnitude quake was the largest, or more than 75, that rattles the island's southeastern coast between Saturday evening, when a 6.4 magnitude quake struck the same area. And Sunday afternoon, most of the damage appeared to be north of the epicenters in towns of Shinsang, in northern Taitung County, at the relatively shallow depth of four miles. Taiwanese state media, the central news agency, said a man with the surname Huang died at a factory in Hualien when a piece of machinery fell on him. A three-story building, which had a 7-Eleven convenience store on the ground floor and residents on the upper ones, collapsed in the nearby town of Zhuli, in Huilian, CNA said. The 70-years-old owner of the building and his wife were rescued first, but it took longer to get to a 39-years-old woman and her five-year-old daughter. A photo released by the Huilian city government showed the girls lying on a blanket and being hung down a metal ladder from the top of the debris by rescuers worker in orange uniform. The top two stories of the buildings were left screwing across a small street, with electricity wire pulled down by the fallen structure. More than 7,000 households were reported to be without power in Juli, and water pipes were damaged. Police and firefighter rushed to a bridge collapse on a two-lane road in what appeared to be a rural area of the town, where three people and one or more vehicles may have fallen off, according to the media reports. Also in Juli, a landslide trapped nearly 400 tourists on a mountain known for the orange day lilies that blanket its slope at the time of year. The CNA said they had no electricity and a weak mobile phone signal. Debris from a falling canopy and a platform at Dongli Railway Station in Fuli, between Yuli and the epicenter at Xinchang, hits a passing train, derailing six car. State media reported, citing the railway administration, none of the 20 passengers were injured. Taiwanese residents share footage of the earthquake's impact on social media. The two largest quakes on Saturday evening and Sunday afternoon. As well as several aftershocks were felt at north end of the island in the capital Taipei, in the city of Taoyuan, west of Taipei, and 130 miles north of the epicenters. A man was injured when a ceiling collapsed on the fifth floor of a sports center. Taiwan's president Chiang Ing-wen urged people to be vigilant for further aftershock, but said the government was in control of the situation. The most disastrous quake in recent history occurred in 1999, when more than 2,400 people were killed and 11,000 injured by a 7.3 magnitude earthquake in Nantou County. The U.S. Geological Survey initially gave a higher reading of Sunday's earthquake than local authorities, initially measuring it at 7.2 magnitude before downgrading it to 6.9. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.